Hi, this is Renee from BowBeautyBlog.com and I hadn't done a post yet on our blog about our March favorites because we just started getting set up to do videos. So I figured it'd be easier to just tell you about them and show you rather than just have to put it all into a big blog post. So anyway, we just started our YouTube channel and on if, if there's people I have as friends on my social media, I'll get a message saying that, oh, so-and-so has, has subscribed to your YouTube channel. So special thanks to Misty, Stephanie, Amanda, and Hallie. You guys are the bestest in the whole world, so thank you very, very much. But anyway, um, be sure to subscribe. We don't have a URL yet. It's just this long bunch of gibberish because YouTube, for some reason, won't let us have an easy one until we have 100 subscribers. So please subscribe, that'd be really super awesome. Anywho, my favorites for March are, number one, you have to take good care of your skin, otherwise your makeup's gonna look like crap. It's like if you don't have a good canvas and you're trying to do a painting, it's like painting on a tree as opposed to painting on like a nice prepped smooth, can can smooth canvas. So anyway, um, is Bionova's Scrub Alternative. It's an oil-free massage cream. This stuff is really, really cool. It's made by Bionova, which is one of my absolute favorite skincare brands. Speaking of which, the people at Bionova actually really liked the last video we did. And even Dr. Danilov himself, the founder of Bionova, actually liked what we had to say. And when I read that from their customer service, I mean, oh my God, I almost shit a brick. That's like the Pope himself having something good to say about us. So that really motivated me to make this video and not be as scared or chicken shit. So anyway, but moving on to the product, um, your skin ideally will exfoliate itself. And sometimes we tend to over exfoliate, but you still need a smooth, nice surface for your makeup. But the oil-free massage cream helps stimulate circulation in your face. So you get a really, really nice glow and it helps kind of move, let the body ex know that it's time to exfoliate or get rid of dead cells. So awesome, awesome, awesome product. You can use it anywhere on your body. It's oil free, makes my skin glow, and it's really, really soft and smooth. Next favorite for March is NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, and my shade is Barcelona. At first, I didn't know if I really liked this stuff, and oh, by the way, thank you Missy at Sephora in Bossier City. Um, you can't really apply this with a brush. I like using a brush because I don't like getting my hands really dirty and it doesn't look as awesome if you use your if you use a brush or even a beauty blender. What you're supposed to do is you put like one drop between your fingers and you kind of press it between your hands and warm it up and you just press it onto your face and it gives a really 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 natural finish. You're supposed says you can get away with using one drop for your whole face. I find that it usually takes me one and a half to two drops to get the coverage I want. It is buildable. And the cool thing is, is although it says all day luminous weightless foundation, I usually don't like the word luminous because having grown up with oily skin and having you know oily areas still in the rest combination, it's, it really scares me. I think I'm gonna be like this grease ball, which is just nasty. But no, this has a semi matte finish so with the NARS Luminous Weightless Foundation, I don't feel like a grease ball and I don't look all slimy and I don't have to use like a whole freaking package of blotting papers. So this stuff is awesome and it's really buildable so you can have lighter coverage or more full coverage, whatever you want. And it wears all day. Like I swear I'll get 12 to 14 hours of wear, especially if I wear it with a primer. Next is another NARS, pro NAR NARS product. I love NARS, one of my favorite brands, and that is Light Reflecting Pressed Powder. It comes in this really nifty little case, like this little pouch, and it's got this elastic strap, and it comes over it like this, and then it's this pouch, and then you get the powder palette, and it has a little sponge applicator, and it opens up, and voila! Jerry actually talked me into getting this and he's standing right there because I won't let him leave the room when we're doing these videos because I'm really kind of scared to do them by myself still. But anyway, he's Mr. Photographer and all that kind of stuff and so I was looking at this powder and it says light reflecting so it makes you look younger and since I was approaching 40, well anytime after 30, anything that makes me look younger is just, I have to have it. 
So anyway, I got it and I don't regret it. It doesn't look like I'm all wearing all sorts of powder and for some reason it actually works. The only bad thing is, is that the little powder applicator, it won't fit into the compact. It just doesn't shut right. So I wish they would have made room in there or a little spot for it because it is kind of inconvenient to have to put it in this pouch as fancy schmancy as it is. It does kind of suck when you're in a hurry to have to put it in there and all that kind of crap. Anywho, next product is this Sephora Multitasker Contour Brush. This is yet another product that Jerry talked me into getting. And he fell in love with this brush first and it's really, really neat. Like if you can see, it's kind of angled. If you look at it from the side and then there's like these brushes here and here. They're like long from Sephora. It's the Multitasker Contour 55, which is really cool because you can apply your contour like this, you know, like normal. Then you can do like a line, side of your nose, just whatever the heck you want. So it's really cool. Thank you, Amanda at Sephora in Shreveport for this. You're the bestest. And next is another brush. It's the Delium Tools Studio brush number 964. It's a blush brush, and this is probably one of, if not the best blush brush that I've ever used. It's super cool. And you know how some brushes, they're just so soft that you can't pick up any product or anything? Well, this is super, super soft, but it still picks up product. And the size is absolutely perfect, if you can see. Now, this is the exact same brush head as their Maestro line. You just have like a little bit lighter handle, and the metal on it's just a little bit different but their brushes are super good and they're really, really good priced. So I'll have the link below so you can check them out. Super, super cool. You definitely need this. I have used this every single day, sometimes twice a day. Next product is, oh my God, another NARS product. Really? Okay. So this is the Velvet Shadow Stick and this is all Brendan's fault at Sephora in Bossier City. This is totally his fault that I got this because I really wasn't needing any dark eyeshadow or anything at that point. But then he just had to go and show it to me and he put some on his hand and like demonstrated it. He's like, isn't that just beautiful? I'm like, oh my God, yes, Brendan, but why did you have to show me that? But it's called what we thought was Angel Noir, but it's Eagle Noir. I don't know how that's pronounced because I'm not French, I'm an Eskimo. But it's A-I-G-L-E Noir. And it's like almost like this pewterish black. And it has like some sparkles in it. I don't know. Because I'm new at this whole video thing. So I don't know if I can get it to show what it looks like. But the cool thing is, is that sometimes I'll even go like this and just put it along my lash line. And it works as like a subtle eyeliner. And you can just kind of smudge it and make it look a little bit smoky and for a little bit more of a subtle effect and with just a harsh black liner. And my next favorite for March is the Amazing Cosmetics Perfection Stick Cover and Contour on the Go in Fair. Amazing Cosmetics let, us, let me pick two shades, so this is one of them. And it's super awesome for highlighting right underneath your brow. And also, if you want to make your lip stand out, you can do it above your lip, below your lip, wherever you want. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And it twists up and down. So it wears all day. It's not greasy. It doesn't settle into any fine lines or anything like that. Comes in four shades. Super, super cool. And lastly, I didn't think I would like this that much. It's the new Tardis Lash Paint. It's a mascara. I got this as a 100 point reward from Sephora and finally they had some good rewards. It's rare that they have something this cool and I didn't really need another mascara. I have like umpteen billion full size mascaras and I don't ever use them because then I end up, it's always like another damn mascara comes out and I haven't used up even a quarter of the other ones I had but they just have to keep releasing more and I just have to try it. So this is the perfect size. I didn't have to spend any money on it. Well, I spent money for an order. But anyway, the brush kind of reminds me of the Benefit Their Real brush in that it's a little bit like rubbery, but 
It works a little bit different. At first, when this product first came out, I thought it would just be like a lash dye and it wouldn't have any mascara effect because it's called lash paint. But, oh my god, this is, this rivals the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which has been my favorite for volume for when I want a really, you know, in-your-face bold eyelash look. The only difference is, is this doesn't really hold a curl as much as the Too Faced Better Than Sex, but it also doesn't tend to clump as much. And it's blacker than black. The color is just so fantastic, and it doesn't really flake either. So I found the best thing to do is to use Benefit's Roller Lash to make your eyelashes hold a curl, then layer this on top of it, and it's super, super awesome. And I guess that's it. I, well, I used a lot more makeup than this, but these are the ones I found myself using constantly and just constantly grabbing for. So that's all for my March favorites, and hopefully I'll remember to do an April favorites before, like, the end of May. That'd be pretty cool. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Right now it's a bunch of gibberish. Until you guys give us 100 subscribers so then we can actually have a URL that's easy to remember. So don't forget to do that and don't forget to check bowbeautyblog.com and I'll have a post for March favorites so you can see all the links of where to get all this nifty keen stuff. Thanks and have a fantastic night.